G.I. Joe is there. G.I. Joe is there. Hey people, this is Ray with my childhood toys and games. <laughs> if you've watched any of my previous videos concerning the G.I. Joes and uh, uh, screws, it's kind of a continuing saga. Um, as you can see, I've been replacing uh, O-rings on many of them. Well, these are just T hooks. I don't know why I got those on there. A few of T hooks broke. So, anyhow, uh, if you remember, I started off with the, the eBay screws. Um, I don't know if you can make it out on there, but they ended up being a little too short. So, um, down online, ran across some. Uh, tips on uh, the old cassette tapes, uh, the screws for those, and uh, when the cassette tape screws work perfect. Uh, not quite pointed, but they still work perfect. Perfect diameter size and everything. And uh, so I got on eBay and ordered a, just a box of random cassettes. Uh, no, it's not my Neil Diamond tape. <laughs> Anyhow, so uh, it's like a buck a cassette, and uh, you know, a cassette has five screws, so you know, three cassettes I can, you know, replace four sets of screws on a on a Joe. So, I said what the heck? So I ordered it. <laughs> the problem was, fifty percent of the tapes that I got in my box, if you notice, don't have screws. They're Glued, uh, or compressed of some sort, snapped together. So, 50% of them were uh, that way. 25% or more of the remaining actually had black screws, then um, leaving me with about 20 25% with uh, your standard. Uh, um, chrome looking screws, silver screws, so galvanized, I'm not entirely sure what the finish is, but so I just didn't feel like buying and keep buying boxes of cassettes, so I got online, I found these screws, this is through one of those uh, Joe Restoration type sites where you can buy G.I. Joe's or parts and so on. I, I forget which one. Uh, I'll try to post a link to it or in the description at least. But uh, these screws turned out really well. Um, they, they're not perfect. You uh, just gonna stick them in there, but the lengthwise, I don't know if you can make that out, but lengthwise, they turned out really nice. Let's see if I can put one of these on here for comparison. So those are so tiny. I don't know. Hang on, let me see if maybe I can zoom in here. It's gonna get real blurry. Maybe. Yeah, it's not gonna. This camera won't let me adjust focus while it's videoing. So, anyhow. Yeah. So, these are the right size, diameter wise, the, and it's just a, a hair off from like the pointed screws, but it works really well on a lot of them. The newer modern Joes. You can get it to work on uh, in replace of the pointed screws, but you just gotta kinda work it into the uh, um, part. It's gotta basically cut some new threads into the plastic. So you, you just turn a few threads, back it out, turn a few threads, back it out, and eventually he can get it in there. Sometimes uh, it just wouldn't go right, and uh, you have to apply more pressure, 
Anyhow, I found a very simple solution to knocking uh, the rust off of these. Now this, if the, the screw is really deteriorated, it's really not going to do any good. Because um, when it rusts, you're losing some material there. And uh, they can get really weak, and that's where you start ending up with stripped screws. But uh, if the screws aren't too bad, you can knock that rust off. So, what I'm going to do is show you this real quick. Very simple solution. Uh, really not a lot of work into it, but it does take a little uh, patience on wait time. So, here we go. Alright, got them in my, my little cup here. Show you what I got going on here. Like I said, it's pretty simple. Uh, you definitely want some kind of container that you're not really worried about. So I use these little plastic cups. You keep them around for all kinds of stuff. So. Definitely don't use your wife's or mom's dishes for this. Alright, here. Just this a little bit. a little bit but uh, forget the mess I mentioned previously we're working on some cleaning out some of the storage units it's kind of a little makeshift sure work bench here too all right hopefully this will turn out I'm using a GoPro now. Okay, so the simplest solution, believe it or not, is soaking them in vinegar. I just got a bottle of distilled white vinegar, nothing special. Poured some in the cup, dropped some in there. See all the rust just collected on this here. I've already taken this uh, those out. And I wanted to run it through a second uh, run of vinegar. And you can see there's still a little rust coming off of them, but we're gonna go outside here. Now, this is vinegar, it's, uh, I do have some oil here. I wouldn't do this with the oil, but vinegar is not gonna hurt the environment. And as you can see, we have a pretty environment here, so. Anyhow. Set up shop. Uh, that to work. Just pouring out the the vinegar here. Be careful not to spill the screws. They're probably never going to find them again. As small as they are. All right. I'm a little dull, but if you can make it out, there's no rust on that screw. None. So, I'll take you back in here and show you what I did. Alright, 
So we'll set these over here. Just get some new cups. Um, the oil is, once I get them out of here, I don't want them rusting or anything. So I want to kind of put them in some oil to at least coat them a little bit. So basically all, all you do is get your little container here, pour some vinegar in it. more than enough to cover it. Vinegar's basically cheap. So now the trick part is I really can't tell you how long I did this because uh, I just kind of put them in here and forgot about them. So I believe those set for about four or five days. So but enough to where those screws can get submerged. Now don't just pull them out of the oil and stick them in your toy. Petroleum products could uh, damage the plastic, so definitely wipe them down pretty good. I'll just like I said, just want to keep them from rusting up again. Uh, obviously not going to be outside and playing in the dirt and stuff again with them. So we'll just just want to at least get them a little cleaned up, a little more presentable. Like I said, I'm not really. Uh, looking for that showroom quality you know off the retail rack uh, brand new to look anyhow these are oil and then after several days or so it'll look like that and swap them out basically what I just did yeah it's not a professional i'm not a chemist or anything i can't explain the reaction or anything but it uh it helps again it's uh, it's not a retail you know shiny quality but it definitely is a lot better looking than that rusted uh screw it's in the back and this more importantly they fit perfect because they are the original screws so i don't know i guess maybe if you had some kind of polishing machine kind of like what uh people who reload uh, uh, ammunition, uh, target shooters, mass shooters, people looking to save money, they got little machines where you put mead, like uh, kind of like glass beads balls, and you can clean up the brass, but you know, we're talking like really micro screws, uh, I doubt if that would work, I'm sure there's a way of polishing them, but uh, I'm just not looking for that. I just want to knock the rust off of them and be a little more presentable than what they are and be correct sizes so hopefully that helped uh, if you like it please hit the like button new subscribe i'll try to put some more stuff out been really busy um i have several other channels i have my road tours i do a lot of traveling as well as my wildlife tours i uh live up here in the colorado rockies so, uh, been, uh, it's uh, nesting season for a lot of the rappers, raptors, sorry. Uh, I monitor golden eagles, bald eagles, owls, hawks, things like that. So, anyways, check out those channels if you're into that sort of stuff. But it, it's been keeping me a little busy. Uh, anyhow, um, like I said, hopefully it helps. Thanks for watching.